Hi, I'm David Craig with the law firm of Craig Kelly and Follis. Oftentimes I'm asked, what should you do uh, if you're in a wreck on the highway with a semi? Well, obviously it depends on the extent of the wreck and the, and the injuries involved. But first of all, you should call 911. Um, and not only should you call 911 and report the wreck, but you also want to let them know the full extent of the injuries of everybody that's involved in the wreck. The second thing you should do is try to take care of the folks that are severely injured until help arrives, if you can do so safely. And the third thing you should do uh, is, uh, is make sure that you're in a safe place. The problem is with these wrecks that happen on the highway, oftentimes there's another wreck following the original wreck. And sometimes there's even multiple, multiple wrecks, especially in adverse and bad weather. So you wanna make sure that your vehicle uh, and you personally and the people that are in, in your car and everyone else involved in the wreck is in a safe location. And sometimes that means actually getting across off of the highway away from your car and even on the other side of the guardrail. I've had cases where people would have been killed by subsequent follow-up wrecks had they not been on the other side of the guardrail. The next thing you should do is if you can, and, and you can do it safely, you should put out triangles. If you have flashing triangles, and I recommend that you carry those in your car, or triangles, uh, flashing, flashing lights, or flashing triangles, or even flares. But typically you might have a, a triangle uh, or a flashing light. And you need to put those on, a lot of those are magnetic, and you can just stick them on the side of your vehicle. Uh, or if it's a triangle, you can put it out on the ground. And you should do that if your vehicle's on the roadway and it's blocking the highway, or even if, it's, if you can get it to the shoulder, you need to put it behind your vehicle to let other oncoming traffic know, as well as hit your flashing lights. And, and I guess the last thing I would recommend is, is taking photographs if you're capable, if, if, you're, if you're able. Uh, if you're physically not injured to the extent that you're, you're, it prohibits you from taking photographs and you can take photographs and you can do it safely, then you really need to do that. Uh, and I would recommend taking photographs of the vehicles if you can before they've been moved. Uh, and secondly, I would if it's a, involving a semi-tractor trailer, you wanna get photographs of the license plates uh, of every vehicle that's involved, but especially the tra semi-tractor trailer. You wanna take pictures of any and all signage that's on the tractor and on the trailer, any numbers, any, any phone numbers, any, anything at all, any letters or numbers that are on the trailer or the tractor, you really need to take photographs of those because all too often after the, the wreck happens and the vehicles are moved, it's difficult to locate uh, who all is involved? Is it a shipper? Is it you know who were the who was the semi company broke? Was it was it being brokered? Uh, was it hauling for somebody else? Who's the what's the name of the company? What's the motor, name of the commercial motor vehicle carrier? So uh, take photographs of everything that you can, and and then I guess you know along the lines with photographs is that if you know especially this time of year it's the holidays, so a lot of people are traveling and they've got packages and Christmas presents and all kinds of stuff in their vehicle on their luggage and all those type of things. And unfortunately, uh, these wrecks can be catastrophic and they can destroy everything that's in the vehicle. And so um, I would recommend that you take photographs of the items that are in your vehicle. And, and I also would recommend that you take, um, keep receipts because if there is a wreck and a semi causes it, their insurance company is not gonna just pay you for what you say you have. You're gonna have to prove to them what you have in your vehicle. Obviously that pales in comparison to any physical injuries uh, or wrongful deaths, but it is certainly part of a claim and uh, there's no reason for you to be out the, the, the price and the cost of gifts.